Shot the cannons, shot the cannons, boom, 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 we are the pirates. Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Calling Gaming Super Smash Brothers Spring Break Bowser's Amiibo Challenge, where we are, uh, we are greeted, in case you missed it, by three new me's sent in that represent the three of us. I am the brawler, Ben is the sword fighter, DK is the gunner. They owned us last time, one of them did, I don't know which one. Yeah, I can't yeah. remember which It was which me. One. It, well, I think it was Derek, it yeah. was the gunner, yeah. Ooh. So big so. thanks to Elliot for sending those in. Yes. yes. I remember beating myself up. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So we have, man, since we've done one of these episodes, we've been to Disney World, we've been to Japan. True. We've well, stayed here. So, so, <laughs> some of us have been to Japan. Some of us have been to Japan. Derek. Mm -hmm. Derek and I'm still paying for it. <laughs> like, I'm still tired. A monster, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Derek lives in Japan time now. That's right. Oh. You went basically as far away as you could. You've got the worst case of jet lag. Yeah, imagine. just that. Yeah, it's just yes. sheesh. Oh boy. Well, uh, Jordan, can you get some, some dice roll to figure out who's playing first and who we're playing against today? Yes, so going first is Ben. Ooh! Boy. And Ben is facing number six, me gunner. Oh, me gunner oh, again. Me gunner. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you guys need to. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Good luck. All right. Bestest of luck. This All right. Let's <sighs> see. What, what's, what color am I feeling today? <laughs> oh, green. Green feels good. Oh, yeah. there it is. Yes. Yeah. Lucky color green. You know, a lot of people in comments were saying how good you've gotten with Incineroar. Hey! Yeah. Oh, let's hope I do not let them down today, because I've been feeling rusty as a can. Rusty, rusty as, as a can. It's been a while. It's been a while. It Whoa. has been a while. It has. This, so, game, this is one of those games, if you're not... Wow, that was pretty solid. Yeah. The thing about Incineroar that I, I played with him some as we were streaming the other night, it's like, you don't realize how much... He doesn't look like a super strong character, but his hits are not weak. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, oh wow. God, that was Oof. almost awful. I saved you. Oh, no. It still was awful. <laughs> All right, so today we have... Actually, I'm going to lump in two questions that are very strongly related from both Elizabeth and Audrey. Okay, okay. Um, Elizabeth says, I'm finishing my senior year of college, but I'm not graduating on time. I decided to double major in film and English, and in the midst of my dream, your year, it delayed my graduation by another year, so I won't be graduating until next spring. I thought this wouldn't bother me until recently I've been seeing graduation photos from all of my high school peers all over social media and a lot of my close friends that I've made at college are graduating in the next few weeks. How do I feel, how do I keep from feeling as though I failed in some way? I'm trying not to compare myself to others, but it's hard. And then... Who was there other person? Audrey said, I'm halfway through getting a degree in English education. I'm a very impatient person and have pretty bad anxiety. It, but this is going to mean that it's oh, no, going no. to take me longer Wait, than the standard up, four up. years to graduate. Oh, no. I wish I could try to take more credits at a time, but whenever I try, I become totally overwhelmed. Uh, even when I finish the semester, I don't get the satisfaction I was hoping for. Any tips on helping me stay patient and happy, especially when my degree will take me longer than four years? Okay, so, so wait, the first person's taking a year off before going to college? Mm -mm. Said, no, the the first person that. added an additional major, oh. which meant that she's going to take five years to graduate. Oh. Got it. Okay. Got it. Okay. And That's she a... feels like she's being left behind because all of her friends are graduating? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, whatever. She's just going to make more money in the end. I'll make up <laughs> for it. No, I, I think probably what it comes down to is like when you're in college mode and everybody's like major life achievements are all coming like, you know, fast and furious. Yes. It can feel like one year behind is way behind and it just really isn't at all. Like, like one yeah. year is like just so nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's one of these things like where I remember uh, like people talking about how you have to go to school for so long to like become a doctor uh, and now like some of our friends are becoming doctors and I'm like it really isn't that long and now they're about now to they're be doctors. a doctor that's, that's yeah. fair. Yep. The, the problem is that when you're making these decisions and you're like 15 or 16 17 whatever uh, it feels like such a big chunk of your life and it's super not it, right that, that is the thing the thing is is when you're making these decisions you're what you know 17, 18 years old staring down the barrel at it, realistically, seven years is almost 50% of your life. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. up to that um, point. Yeah, it's like if, so, you were to, if you were to go seven years into the past, you'd still be like, your parents might yeah. still be dressing you. You'd be yeah. some little 10 year old. Wow, this gunner Why, has great dodging. <laughs> he is. 
All about that uh, neutral air. All wow. about that neutral air. That neutral nair, air. as I call it, <laughs> or as they call it on the forums. Mm -hmm. The, the nair. nair. The nair. Isn't that a oh, uh, hair removal product? Yeah. <laughs> it is a hair well, He does not have hair, so hey, maybe that's why he's got he some. That nair. He's got some. <laughs> Got some tricks. Where it matters. Oh man, that, there was a Weird Al song once upon a time when we were a kid, where like the guy's oh, nice neighbor shot. was a prankster and replaced his shampoo with Nair shampoo. Yeah. And it was always one of those jokes that as a kid I did not get it at all because I was like, what's Nair shampoo? Right. True. <laughs> but when you know that it makes all your hair okay, fall out. So, yeah. Of course. It's like, it's like that would be that would be a problem. No. Um, okay, so Derek, I think yeah. you probably have the most amount of experience. Uh, yeah, because uh, I was uh, pre-med for two years and then changed my degree uh, to theater and then was so close to getting another degree that I'm like, yeah, whatever, I'll just get two. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. No thanks. Yeah, no, no biggie. Um, I will say, if you're getting student loans, uh, it's big. That is a big, <laughs> it gets to be a bigger thing later than you might realize. Mm -hmm. uh, because all of mine are student loans, and uh, it's just a lot. Um, but uh, also, in addition to that, I went to okay, hold on. Uh, I went to school when Oof. I was like well, started when I was twenty four, I think, and that so was a big. So basically, ancient. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But in terms of like being in class with all these eighteen year olds, yeah. Um, but also and you had some real world experience and like yeah, totally. and knew how to balance life with school. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's there's so much to be said for the people who wait to go to school a little bit. We're always, 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 without fail, the best students in the class. Yeah, oh, right. it matters to um, you so much more. Instead yeah, like, of like this is the next step of my life. Right, because it, it just feels like you went to you continued to go to school for like the next year of high school, except now you don't have to deal with parents. Oh my yeah. gosh, and like so, the, I feel like there's such a big conversation going on right now about whether or not like a college degree is worth it um, and I, I think really what it comes down to is like no. oh, you you can probably well I don't know this was at least the case at my college you can succeed without necessarily like learning if that makes sense oh yeah no, like there were exactly ways to execute getting through the class uh, and then not having walked out of that class being like, now I know a lot about operations management. Yeah, like yeah you sure. have to want to learn. Yes, sure. yes. Um, okay, so the real question is, should I go to college? It's like, Do you if you learn? want to learn. Yeah, and yes, exactly. If you, if you want to learn, if you want an, edu like, an education and not just like get a job. That's the thing that I'm... Uh, so, ooh. Ooh. Breaking up the big gun. His, what, no, I think the big guns has been Ganondorf. That's, That's the only one who, well, we knocked out two big... Two big amiibos with the, with the old dwarf. Look at Bowser sitting He's over on the shelf. He's super, super <laughs> air-based, like, crazily, by the way. The me gunner? Yeah. Well, he's got, he's obviously, by the title, is very projectile heavy. And Wolf has got my, my trusty reflector shield. Yeah, that's why I went with, um, that's why I went with uh, Dark Pit there. Uh, somewhat related to the question, but less less to do with college specifically. So my cohort in grad school was the, had like the oldest oh average age of any cohort in our program for a, a long while. Pretty much everybody in my class uh, had had some work experience, either working in industry or, or as a lab tech or something similar. Okay. Um, and so as a whole, at least in the first year or two, we were exceptionally successful. But then once you got into the program as a whole, it didn't really matter either way because what you were learning was so specific. So realistically, taking one extra year in school is such a minor thing that like, it, it, it might make a difference for like your first year in that you are, or, or in that fifth oh. year, in that you are a little bit older than some of your classmates, but the difference will go away faster than the year itself. Right, 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 right. Oh, I like that. Well, yeah. okay, so and let me turn this question on its head a little bit, because we're talking about college specifically, but how do you guys feel about, oh, like, friends buying houses, getting married, or having kids? Oh, man, kids? a friend of mine just had a child this weekend. Yeah? Uh, yeah, no, that, that's one that I, uh, yeah, by the way. <laughs> um, and uh, Jordan also knows this one. Um, it's really hard to not play the comparison game. Sure, 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 uh, sure. And uh, what it comes down to in, in both this and in the schooling thing that we're talking about is your path is your path, and that's that's all that really matters. You don't need to 
uh, try to live up to the expectations or the like timeline that other people have. Because even though it might take you a, another year now, you might be excelling in other ways. That, yeah. You know, like, and, and that's that's ultimately, I think, yeah, where... The, 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 wow, that was, a, that was a recovery <laughs> unlike any other. That was insane. My goodness, um, I was like, I got him! <laughs> yeah, I, I think um, the, the hardest friends are the ones who are succeeding professionally and personally yeah, and just like in like a huge like way. Yeah, and you're like, you're like gosh, gosh, why are they so perfect? Yeah. Um, out of out of our GMA uh, group growing up, we had one of our friends who I, I felt uh, m maybe was like getting ahead of the curve a little bit there. And I know at the time it was one of these things that I just battled with constantly. Um, but no, I don't know. It's it's such a such a strange such a strange thing when when you get into that mindset though. Like, how do you break free of it? Is there a good way? Do you guys have oh. tactics? Comparison and just keep. Yeah, 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 that's the Jay's favorite one-liner. So <laughs> one of my favorite my... one. But... Do you have a favorite one-liner? One? Oh man, my favorite one is uh, yes, probably it's about probably uh, it's one people disagree with the most, but uh, is a, is about uh, whether or not you should live with people before you get married. My answer is always that it's not whether you can live with them, it's whether you can live without them. Oh, Which honestly is adorable. Yes, and after. Um, <laughs> and everyone's going to be like, no, I could never do it if I didn't do it. I understand. I understand it's different for everyone. Right. Does he also have a reflection? So yes. my, Jeez. my thought on the not comparing yourself no! is that it. rather than Burn. not comparing myself, I just sort of look at like where I'm at in my life and if it's I don't know it's just it's not a race like there's not a finish line in relationships the finish line is death <laughs> so the line is death so if you're trying and you to, can die at any time so you should go as fast as you can right yep, that's that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but like what a peaceful if you're way trying to, to rush to the finish line then really all you're doing is rushing towards death and might as well just enjoy where you are at that particular moment there you go well while we continue say, all to you're doing is rushing towards death the You're going way. towards death at the same rate no matter what. There would just be less time to enjoy it with someone you want. Well, you don't before, get there faster. This is weird advice, Jordan. <laughs> before we rush <laughs> to <laughs> the end of this episode, let's take a quick pause for today's Patreon sponsor of the day, which I'm going to have Jay read because he kept interrupting me. <laughs> ah, today's Patreon sponsor message is from Dr. Brandt, who says, Never forget who you are. The rest of the world will not. Wear it like armor, and it can never be used to hurt you. Boy, that's, is that a Dumbledore quote? It's a Tyrion quote. Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 I was like, I was like, like that, that sounds so familiar. That sounds familiar. Ah, Dr. Brand killing it with the fantasy quotes, as ever. As ever. Honestly, yeah. Great with the quotes. Yes. Yeah, so if you would like to be a Patreon sponsor and put a message in one of our lovely Amiibo Smash episodes, you can head over to su patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Sign up today. We super appreciate it. I wish more people would take advantage of the ability to make us say pretty much whatever their message <laughs> is. <laughs> the world is your burrito. <laughs> Honestly, I've been... Oh, wait. Team? Team? team. Oh, oh. Ah, good oh, I remember. Oh, there it was. Ha. Huh. I've been loving all the, the quotes and stuff. I, I feel like uh, Clark and Dr. Brandt especially are like trying to outquote one another. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, um... Anyway, in, in the comparison game, the only person that you should be comparing yourself to is yourself. Uh, whoops, from the past. past you? Yeah. Do you guys find that you admire past you, or... Uh, uh, rarely. Or, not okay. at all. <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to say... Depends most, how far in the past we go. Most of the time, I, I'm not like, past you, you had it all figured out. I'm like, what were you thinking? Yeah, yeah. every time. Uh, which, you know, things only get better, is really what that comes out of. That's right. Life's always getting better, 100% of the time. Okay, next question. I know, see, you I'm guys. afraid of the time where I'm thinking, like, well, oh, Pat, you so much smarter. Yeah, right? That's, that's, <laughs> a, that's a dangerous game, right? When does that happen? When do you start having regrets? When are Ooh. you bitter? <laughs> so when I, are you bitter? If I'm being perfectly honest, I'm a little bitter that past me had, I don't want to say downtime, because that's not the right word, but like, I didn't have the same responsibility to other people that I feel like I do now. And uh, I was able to focus more on myself, like 
with going to the gym more consistently and eating healthily because I was the only person that I had to worry about cooking for. And so maybe physically I was in better shape. Mm. Um, that's, a, that's a comparison. Really you letting yourself go never. here. So I Jordan know. goes to therapy practice several days a week and <laughs> has a gym membership. Wait, I'm surprised to hear you say that you think you were taking less care of yourself now. You literally, yeah, you have derby twice a week and you work out three days a week. Maybe it's just mostly my diet then. My diet recently has gone to no. not great. Is the world your burrito? No, yeah, no, I've, no. and I've oh been eating too many of them. <laughs> and you though. Um, but, I, I mean, that is a, a really good point. I am very happy with how strong I am now, so I guess maybe it's it's an unfair comparison. Oh no! And I'm off. I'm off the level. I also say that knowing full well that I skipped the gym this morning, Are we? so... There, yeah, there is nothing more guilty than a day that you have skipped the gym. It looks like, yes, you are going to beat him. Are you sure? Because, geez. He's very I powerful. think we got him. I love, I love Ben just standing there with Incineroar, like, building up that charge. He's like, I know you have to come up this ledge eventually. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay there. Man, that gun is powerful. It's like the range is just stupid. Yeah. Well, you couldn't reflect it either. I, when he, I was yeah. like, oh, I'm just gonna stay here. I know you're game. You're gonna be stuck, and I'm gonna be able to force this back on you every time. But it didn't do it. Is it projectiles that it reflects, or yeah, is it all attacks? Maybe it doesn't consider the flame gun to be a projectile. That's what it would appear, doesn't it? Yeah, that's interesting. Blarky. That was specifically really? my strategy. I am right. out. Uh oh, Derek. I did have one stupid. Could there. Derek wow, be the greatest was enemy ever? It could be. Recovery on that gunner, man. Dude, that's amazing. It one, is. Though. It's just it's just absurd. It's like, come on. Oh. Are you out too? Oh god. Oh, like, oh my gosh. Here, <laughs> this, this is fascinating. Get out of here. There you go, there you go, hit. there you go. Recover from that, you wiener. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> I was gonna do try to spike him down there, and that didn't work, and fortunately I have otherwise. Oh! That recovery is ridiculous. There you go. There it is. Thank Super you! Sumo flexing Jeez. him out of his brain. Goodness gravy, man. But that also man. means that what, he killed you guys seven times? Just about, whatever. Right. One it's of mine was sacrificial thing is, to try is that to we won. That's yes. right. And we I won. finally got to see and what happens when Incineroar wins, which is hold a belt, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Where do you Check get that it from? Out. Who gave it to him? <laughs> Who gave it to him? <laughs> Who hands out the belt? <laughs> Where did he go? I want the belt. Oh, man. Why in wrestling do you think it's a belt? Like, why is that what you win? I have no idea. Right? I don't like understand. All the things. Like, I've always thought suspenders just made so much more sense. Right, it's yeah. like, like a thing that you can huge wear. Huge golden suspenders. <laughs> yeah. It's like a thing you can wear, but they make it so big that you can't really wear it. Yeah. Well, it always bothered me when I was, like, a kid watching, you know, WCW and, you know, whatever, wrestling. <laughs> NWO. And they would, yeah, NWO, whatever. They'd come out and they'd be wearing the belt and you'd be like, oh, yeah, you're the champion. And then they would take it off for the fight. And you'd be like, why don't you wear the belt, though? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, if someone punched like, you in the gut, you'd yeah, have a gold you'd plate. Have armor. Jeez. <laughs> also, maybe you should wear more than a Speedo. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be good if a wrestler just came out wearing like a suit of armor? It's just like, yeah, what now? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably going to be painful to hurt me. Yep, exactly. Deal with it. Rey Mysterio Jr. Oh, goodness me. Anyway. So, I think for today's question of the day, how do the listeners at home handle envy of their friends' life developments? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. How do you handle it? We would like to know. We need advice on this one. I think. We really do. We really do. <laughs> I think everybody does. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. hard. It's just the hard thing. You have to learn to be. You have to like try and celebrate their successes more than yes. like like punish yourself for their successes, and that is really hard to do sometimes. Yep. Yeah. But uh, if you can master that, I think you'll find yourself as a much happier person and probably win a lot more support from your. Friends. Yes, indeed. Otherwise, until next time. Chug the cannons, chug the cannons, boom, 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 we are the perks. <laughs>